Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. Today we are at the New York Auto Show taking a look at the new Hyundai Kona that has the premiere here. So in front of me, we have the petrol version. You also see the endline trim over there. And then there is the electric model uh, here on the stage as well. But today's focus is this one and stay tuned for more as I covered, uh, I will actually cover other models as well. So this is the new upscale model. And as you can see, we have a completely new design. Now on the front, you see the nice LED bar that goes all the way from one side to another emphasizing the width of the car itself it is really nicely integrated into this front and so is this hyundai badge now the main units the light units are here as you can see and uh, i think this looks very very modern futuristic and definitely an eye catcher on the road and now you may also notice that the bumper is different depending on the trim that you get so the endline trim has a bit of a different bumper and of course the electric version has a more closed bumper and a different design and the charging port on the front as well moving on to the side four meters 35 has the length of the car and the wheel arches are the very robust ones as you can see here the wheels these are gorgeous 19 inch wheels so 19 inch for the first time on the hyundai kona 235 45 r19 that's the dimension of the tires kumho tires in this case and just look at this details here i mean the design of the wheels is just amazing now also the design lines just look at this we first saw that on the new hyundai tucson but now here on the kona as well i also need to mention that the wheel arches are different uh, depending on the trim that you get because for example on the end line they are in the same color as the body of the car but also on the electric version this is how it looks from the rear just look at this the gorgeous design once again led bar going all the way from one side to another emphasizing the width and giving it a strong appearance on the road and also the spoiler is really a massive one so that's quite cool you do have both the hyundai badge and Kona lettering here at the back lettering here for the model in our video 1.6 liter turbocharged petrol engine also you will notice the rear view camera here and the robust bumper now if we open the tailgate there we go nice square shape and also you can see the spare tire in here hooks are uh, here on the left and also both of them um, in this section the cover is put like this of course you can put it to a standard position and uh, yeah well now it is time to check out the interior and there we go first we start here some standard buttons for the windows and the mirrors this is the door pocket has this special place here for your bottle the seats they do have the lumbar support and nice attention to details here look at this four dots and then you also have the four dots here brand new steering wheel and let's see it from driver's perspective okay then so this is it the new steering wheel four dots here the gear selector is now here so very similar to the ionic 5 ionic 6 and the new hyundai models so this is very easy to use i drove the ionic 5 and um, it's a thumb up from me and with this one you can change the information within the digital cockpit but we would need to key for that but what i can show you is this the new infotainment system i will go through the details in a moment rushed material looking gorgeous i love the design of this sector here and um, you do have some shortcuts here so the map view search media you have the linkers and then seek track you can adjust this button here setup here is now you can also notice that the new infotainment system is here um, here is where you can change the tracks and then this one is for the volume start engine button is here the ac is on switches we will need to key 
for the adjustments but this is a big thumb up for me because you have a very nice modern layout with the dual 12.3 inch screens but also you do have physical buttons for various things including the ac here usb-c ports and also the wireless charger for the phone the drive mode selector is located here and this is where you would be able to see the view from the camera heated seats on this one push this you get the cup holder and when you don't want to use them just do this and you have huge amount of room here for various things let me also show you here you do have this element to put various smaller elements but also underneath this you do have extra storage room the glove compartment decent amount of room and here you can also put various things and uh, now it's time to check out the new infotainment system all right and this is it let's start by pressing the home button which goes uh, which actually uh, gives you this home screen and uh, you can swipe it to the right to see all the details i really love the layout on this new infotainment system uh, if we press the setup you adjust most of the settings for the vehicle and the system itself here so for the vehicle we would need the key for that but for example navigation can be adjusted here and you can change various things within the map map font size large or standard and also the map color for example daytime map color you can put the clean light clean dark classic light or classic dark you can also adjust the zoom again so extra zoom in default or extra zoom out and uh, other features are available here let's go back to the home menu but actually let's go back to setup here sound settings can be adjusted here driver assistance radio noise and you can adjust various things and device connections what else can I show you the screen layout you can have this clock as a screensaver or none display settings we would need the power to be turned on for that now the buttons custom button uh, for example on the steering wheel you can adjust what this button will be used for so it's here and uh, it's best that you use something that you that you put something that you use often how about let's go back general settings here is where you can change the language units and stuff like that so this one is a really nice uh, new infotainment system all right so the navigation view look at this the beautiful attention to details and also very responsive look at this and we could take a look at the beautiful new york city is my first time here but i'm definitely gonna be back this is gorgeous and uh yeah well as you can see here on the navigation we can see the buildings and 3d shape of the buildings looking gorgeous i can't wait uh, to try this car and to go on a night point of view drive as that will be very special so stay tuned for that and you need to press this to get the light hello panoramic roof on this one and now it's time to check out the rear bench 2 meters 66 is the wheelbase so 60 millimeters longer than the predecessor let's check it out and let's jump on board to see this so there we go and as you can see no problems whatsoever and i've been told that this is the pre-production model and the production version with this trim would get also the air vents at the rear you can also see that we do have some storage area here and in the middle we do have the middle armrest in leather with the cup holders and this is the situation for my head so look at this still plenty of room left as you can see also uh, you can lean back currently i did that so i can really be relaxed here and go for a long drive here at the rear seat now uh, i can also show you how it looks when you move it uh, upwards a bit so uh, let's check it out
and even with this upright position as you can see still some room left for my head so it's a big thumb up from me in terms of powertrains a lot to choose from petrol hybrid or the fully electric version tell me in the comments what would be your choice all right guys and that was it thank you very much for watching this video do subscribe as there will be plenty of more to come and see you on the next one bye bye